anyone traveling from Wisconsin to New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut will have to stay in quarantine for two weeks. The three states' governments say this is in response to increased rates of COVID-19 transmission in our state. In New York, enforcement teams are stationed at airports statewide to review proof of travelers' health forms that everyone traveling from out of state needs to complete. 22 states are on the all three states' travel restrictions. It's another travel hassle during the pandemic. A New York actor visiting family in the Madison area tells Jennifer Cleasy this new rule is just one more unknown in his life right now. Ryan McDowell is spending part of the pandemic back home in Sun Prairie. Just trying to come to Wisconsin and make the most of having the time with the family. He's trying to figure out his future while all three of his jobs in New York are on hold. Uh, it definitely felt like the world was closing in around you. Being out there at the beginning of all this and seeing things just shut down abruptly, seeing the numbers skyrocketing. Now, as he gets ready to return to what was the epicenter of the pandemic, he faces two weeks of quarantine because of COVID cases in Wisconsin. I was praying that we wouldn't be added on until I got back to New York. It's odd to feel like New York is the safer place to be. Here at Dane County Regional Airport, three airlines fly direct to LaGuardia, New York and to Newark, New Jersey. That means anyone getting off those flights will be subject to these new travel restrictions. If you leave the airport without filling out the information, not only can you have a $2,000 fine, you can then be brought to a hearing and ordered to complete mandatory quarantine. If they put us on their list and they're, they're thinking that we are having surges here, which we are. Governor Evers says the restrictions are one more reason to wear a mask. I just think that we should use this as a, a motivator. Despite the order, McDowell says he will go back because his apartment lease is up soon. He'll get tested and cope with quarantine. At this stage, that's an emotional toll, more so than really anything else. Hoping he'll leave a state that's taking what he's seen in New York seriously. We can't let ourselves get so complacent with this that once it hits, it hits us harder than any other state. In Madison, Jennifer Cleasy, 27 News.